Hello guys and welcome to DTWG The Prep Welcome. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at um, um, some social studies key vocabulary. Okay, uh, there are some terms in the GED social studies that you need to know. Okay, and um, it might not be defined in the passage. Okay, they, they, the, you know, the GED examiners um, expect you to know the meaning before even uh, before you take the exam. Okay, so I'll be taking this key uh, vocabularies and their meanings, their differences, what they are usually compared to during the GED social studies test. Okay, and it is usually under civics and government. And if you notice over 50% of um, your questions in the GED social studies is from civics and government. Okay, so today I'll be looking at we're going to be looking at capitalism and communism. Uh, communism okay, so please, um, before we go further, if it's your uh, first time um, to this channel, please, please do subscribe to support us to grow. Okay, and um, you can check our website for summary notes, summary notes for your social studies, your sciences. Okay, uh, you know, for every every of the topics there, summary notes, you see this there. You see also practice questions on your maths, study guides for your RLA, uh, your maths, social studies and science on dtwprep.com. Okay, and you can also join our Facebook group if you need, um, you know, motivation, you need, um, uh, you have questions about the GED in your state. Okay, you can please join the group. I'll leave all the links, okay, all the links you need in the video description box. And also, if you need one-on-one -on -one tutoring for maths, I do one-on-one -on -one math tutoring. You can also contact me. I'll leave also my contact details in the video description box of this video. Okay, so coming to this, uh, to what we have here, this vocabulary and what it means, okay, sometimes you can be asking your GED to... Uh, you know, uh, contrast is a question. I think I would I would do the, the question after this video. I would upload the question. A question on uh, what uh, communism their their ideals, what they stand for, capi uh, what capitalism stands for, and also communism stands stands for. Okay, and several options for you to choose. All right. So for capitalism. Capitalism is majorly, um, you know, there are countries. The U.S. is a capitalist um, country. For communism, you can see countries like China and Russia, they are into communism, okay? And what's the difference? All right, sorry, plane just um, flew by. Now, the difference is for capitalism, a capitalism um, society or system has profit motive, Okay. The profit, the profit motive is the basis of what capitalism, but the communism does not. The uh, communism system doesn't seek profit. Okay, they consider it destructive to the society. Now, for capital in capitalism, there's what we know known as um, private ownership. Okay, an individual can buy properties. All right, and um, use it for profit making. But in communism, you can you can do all properties are state-owned okay state state ownership of all prof, pr, properties in communism um, countries okay the state that is the government regulates the use of property okay in the capitalist economies however okay in a communism um, system the government own all right for this communism government owns every and controls property such as factories housing, farms, shops, and utilities. Now, for the capital, uh, capitalism here, it's also represented by a competitive market, all right, that isn't subjected to much regulation. So everyone, you get your goods, you know, you manufacture, and you can sell. It's not monopolized, all right? So you have competitive but markets, ideally subjected to as little regulation as possible, uh, an important component of what capitalism. 
All right, say so communism or command economies are historically based on government control of all aspects of production. The state owns the means of production. Government regulation controls prices, production, and supply. But in capitalism, that's not what controls. <laughs> it's the competitive market that controls um, uh, price, you know, production, demand, and supply. All right. Now, when you come to communism, it's represented by income distribution. As they said, it's not a profit-making um, system. So it's, it lives by making, uh, essential to achieving this goal, is making some of the income from the people who have and re redistributing to people that don't have. So they want everyone to, be, you know, economic equality is the goal of the communism um, system. Any country, they believe equality, economic equality, is their major goal. So there's always income redistribution from people who have to those who don't have. And it's also represented by a classless society. The rich between, there's not like um, being um, so rich. Are you getting me? In the capitalist, you can see this, there might be gaps between the rich and the poor. No, it's, you know, there are several classes here in the capitalism economy or system, but here it is classless. It's a belief that there should be no class distinctions among people. Okay, among people is central to what communism. While many capitalist systems exist in demo uh, democratic countries that stress political equality, the, de the development of different income level within society is considered a natural consequence of a capitalist economy, okay? But this, um, Communism is the belief that there should be no class distinction among people, okay? So what is central to communism? Econ economic uh, equality, no class distinction, and government owns all property. And you see the three key things you have to look at in communism, income distribution, which means economic equality, Classless society means no distinctions among uh, class distinction among people and government own all properties. For this uh, capitalism uh, uh, um, country or system, okay, profit motive is the basis. Okay, there's private ownership allowed of property and also competitive markets that is not regulated as much as possible by the government in a capitalist country. Okay, so this is the key differences between capitalism and communism whenever you meet it in your GED social studies test. Okay, so thank you and um, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ for he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. All right, and also give us that same, this same home that we desire our heaven on earth is also going to give us that. All he's just asking for is for you to accept him as your personal Lord and Savior. And he will take over. Okay? Take over everything. Stare your life to the right direction. You know, deliver you, heal you. You get my point? He's going to give you that joy, that love, that peace, that passes understanding. Every of these things are in Christ Jesus. Just that bundle, that package of love. All right, and he has loved you first and is asking you to also do the same back by giving and submitting your life to him and repenting. All right, so thank you for staying tuned to DTWG, the prayer, and see you in our next video.